Number 15 then from paper 2, the 2018 National 5 Maths, expressed this as a single fraction its simplest form. Well, you know you're going to be multiplying fractions here, so you're looking for things to cancel. Difference of two squares. But first of all, I'll write it as a product. Instead of dividing by a fraction, multiply by the reciprocal. So it'll be n minus 2 over 3. Maybe I'll just write that again. It's n times n minus 2, so that's factorised. I'll put that 3 at the front. Now this part here, n squared minus 4, can be written as n minus 2 times n plus 2. Those two parts will cancel, so I'm left with n on top and 3 times n plus 2 underneath. And then I just wonder, should I leave it like that, which is quite neat, or will I just multiply it out to 3n plus 6? Well, I have done, so that's me. I'm just going to stop there. So number 16. Chris wants to store his umbrella in a locker. Here's this locker. It's 40 by 40 by 70 centimetres tall. His umbrella is 85 centimetres long, so it's obviously too tall. He thinks it will fit into the locker from corner P to corner M. Is he correct? Justify your answer. Well, it means I'll need to know how far it is from corner P to corner M. So I'll need this line, this space diagonal here. So how do we work out its length if I call that D? Well, there's two ways. You could work out the diagonal on the base, because you've got a right angle triangle here, you could call that X, and then work out D from the vertical right angle triangle, because I know that distance is 70. Those are both 40. So I could do that. I'll work out X first of all. So X squared is going to be 40 squared plus 40 squared. Well, that's two lots of 40 squared. That's two lots. No, I'll just put it down. 1600 plus 1600, which is 3200. But since I'm just going to pass that on to D in this triangle, I could just go on and say, well, D squared is X squared plus 70 squared, and pass that answer on to it. So that's plus 4900. And 49 and 32 is 81, which is a very nice number, because when you take the square root of 81, it'll be 9. So 8190. So it's 90 centimetres. Now you could have done that another way, that saved a bit of writing, which is to say this. Well, D is the magnitude of the vector that goes from M to P, because that's essentially the calculation for the magnitude of a vector. So I could write this. D is actually the magnitude of, I want to go that way, I think, of the vector that goes from M to P. And that vector from M to P, what is it? Less writing, I don't know. It's 40, that's 40 back, 40 in, and 70 up. Which means that D should equal the magnitude, which is the square root of negative 40 squared plus 40 squared plus 70 squared, because that's where the magnitude came from anyway, that double right angle triangle business. But this way, and then you just type that in obviously, and it's going to come to the same thing, which is 90 centimetres. So to this final part here, he thinks it will fit into the locker from corner P to corner M. Now, this is actually the, the third time I've returned to change the end of this. The first time I did this, I said, sensibly, Yes, 85 is less than 90, so of course it will fit inside. Then afterwards, I began to bug me about this corner P to corner... Why mention corner P and corner M? Because that specifically means corner to corner. That's a unique distance. It's the wording, it's very ambiguous. If it said corner M towards corner P, then yes, that would make sense. But why do they say from corner P to corner M? It makes it sound as if it's exact. He thinks it'll fit into the locker from corner P to corner M. Well, obviously, yes, it fits inside. So I will say this. Yes, the umbrella will fit inside, as 85 centimetres is less than 90 centimetres. That's what I put down the first time. But still this, why say corner P to corner M? But if it's resting in corner M, it won't reach corner P, if that's what you mean. So 
So I'll go back to my original answer. If it had just said, will it fit inside the locker, that would have been even better as a question. Or is it just me that sees this ambiguity here? 